Have you been told that you may need to end a relationship with your favorite foods? Are you wondering if this is the end of a beautiful relationship? Or maybe there's a lingering opportunity to get back together? By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of the difference between a food intolerance and a food allergy and how you need to commit to an elimination diet. Hi, I'm Mark Cooper, board certified gastroenterologist, and I'm here as your food relationship coach to help you understand the difference between a food allergy and a food intolerance and what that means for how you remove those foods from your diet. A food allergy makes you sick because your immune system sniffs out the slightest whiff of trouble like a police dog. And once it gets angry, it stays angry until that threat is gone. What's happening here is that your immune system is having an inappropriate reaction to a food that would otherwise be healthy. It's creating antibodies against that. And as long as those antibodies persist, you're going to continue to have an immune reaction. The most classic example of this is celiac disease, which is a wheat allergy. And so when a person ingests wheat, even in small amounts, it's enough to produce those antibodies and induce an immune system reaction. And that can persist for even weeks after the person's last ingestion of wheat. Contrast that with food intolerance in which your gut has difficulty absorbing certain foods. Take the example of lactose intolerance. It takes a special enzyme to break down milk sugars into components that we can actually absorb into our small intestine. The result is, is that what we can't absorb and we're available to the gut bacteria. They metabolize it and that causes some downstream problems. Once you stop ingesting that food you're intolerant of, very quickly your gut will normalize and the symptoms will resolve. Understanding whether you have a food intolerance or a food allergy guides how you break up with the food. If you have a food allergy, you need to make a clean break. You need to strictly avoid this food at all costs. If you have a food intolerance, this might be a food that you can find a way to still be friends. If you're ready to break up with the wrong foods, and you are ready, then subscribe to the channel because we're going to have new content coming out about how to approach elimination diets, whether lab testing may be the right or wrong way to approach choosing foods to eliminate from your diet, and how to overall embark upon a healthier gut lifestyle. Thank you for your time and be safe.